here we have another sigma notation. So remember step one is just find the first three terms. People are always like, Kevin, does this mean term three? Not at all. What term To find term one, you are simply going to start with whatever number you have here. So it'll be four times three minus one, which is 11. Then you just increase by one each time. And that'll be 15. And then four times five minus one, and that'll be 19. So there we have the first three terms. From that, we can see that it is arithmetic. So we can use the sum to formula for an arithmetic pattern, but you've got to be careful. This 20 is not the number of terms. Remember in the previous question, we said that to work out the number of terms, it's the top number minus the bottom number, which in this case is a three and then plus one. That'll give us 18. So they are only 18 terms, not 20. Why am I writing my eights as an infinity sign? So we're gonna say 18 over two, then A is term one, which is 11. N is 18. We don't use that 20 at all in the calculation. And then D, which is the difference is, you can see we're plusing four. So that'll be your common difference. And so that's gonna be 810.